Outlander season 4 could leave fans utterly devastated after the final episode has aired in less than two weeks' time with the death of the beloved character Murtaugh Fitzgibbons on the hit star's drama, as some of the evidence seems to be pointing that way. The fourth offering of Outlander has been an explosive one to say the least, and a huge part of that is down to the addition of Irish pirate and villain Stephen Bonnet, played by Ed Spillers, to the time travel fantasy. But with the highly anticipated return of gruff Murtaugh Fitzgibbons Mackenzie Fraser, Duncan LaCroix, many assume Jamie, Sam Hewen, would be safer with his godfather by his side. Unfortunately for the Fraser clan, Jamie's mishap with Roger Wakefield Mackenzie, Richard Rankin, set all of them on completely different paths. Brianna, Sophie Skelton, fell out with her biological father for his actions against Roger, despite him mistakenly believing he was avenging Bree's honor after being raped. Jamie and Claire, Katrina Balfe, embarked on a journey searching for the 20th century historian with young Ian, John Bell, in tow and Brianna and Murtaugh traveled to Riverrun to stay with Jamie's Aunt Joe Casta, Maria Doyle Kennedy. But Jamie made yet another terrible choice when he asked Murtaugh to find and bring Stephen Bonnet to him in secret, and some are convinced the Scottish character could be in deadly trouble. After some hair-raising scenes in episode 11 of the star's drama, and with the help of Fergus, Caesar Domoy, Murtaugh managed to capture the twisted ship captain. While he knocked Stephen out cold in the final moments of the episode, viewers are still terrified over whether the psychopathic rapist will suddenly wake up and kill the beloved Myrtle. What's more, fans of author Diana Gabaldon's book series are aware Myrtle was killed off much earlier than was translated in the show. Sharing their thoughts on social media, fans are panicking the writers will shift things around to get rid of Jamie's godfather after all. And Murtal better not die because of this bonnet. One person exclaimed. Since he wasn't supposed to be alive after Culloden I'm afraid they kill him now. Another shared, with the way Jamie is praying with those beads the way he does when there's been a death, it doesn't bode well for Murtal. I keep saying this but people don't believe me, there is no place for Murtal in this story and the future of Outlander, they have to make time to dedicate it to Brianna and Roger's story. You can only fit so much in the TV show unlike the books. Murtaugh has seen Claire come back, seen Brianna, been to Fraser's Ridge, there isn't much more for him to do, and he's not as fit and young as he once was. People forget Murtaugh is 20 years older as well, going to take on Stephen Bonnet. It would make sense to kill Murtaugh that way as Jamie sending Murtaugh after Bonnet now is simply stupid pride, a third agreed. But as I said wouldn't mind if he lived and took Duncan Innes, book character, role. The way Joe Casta talked about his hands in the last episode, spelled out that it was the wrong Mackenzie sister that Murtaugh had pined after all those years ago. While a fourth worried, I just can't see Murtaugh surviving Stephen Bonnet and his thugs it would be a miracle, like when he let Brianna go he could have killed her after he did what he did. After all we've seen he's no stranger to pushing kids off a moving ship. I hope Murtaugh doesn't die. I'm too attached to him," a fifth then added. Some were convinced Murtaugh and Joe Casta are set for romance however, with one person posting, hearing wedding bells for Murtaugh and Aunt Joe Casta. Always thought Murtaugh would take Duncan's place when they decided not to kill him at Culloden.